Hi everyone, I'm Adisa, Adisa the Verbalizer. Some of you will recognise my face, some of you will not, and that's okay. I am the official Stoke Newington poet in residence. I have been writing poetry for, for over 25 years of my life. And this week I was given the, the privilege, the honour, to write a poem on behalf of the NHS. Um, just celebrating how much I think they deserve our applause and how much we need to celebrate what they're doing. Um, so I wanted you to think about what could you write as a celebration of the work that the NHS is doing in our lives right now during this pandemic of the COVID-19. And I hope you've seen my, my poem, I've seen the video, and that's inspired you. You may feel uh, you can be inspired to take out some of my ideas and use that in your poetry or complete something, com create something completely new. It's up to you. Think about your own experiences. Think about people you know who work in the NHS. Think about people who have been helped by the NHS. Think about yourself and put that all together in a bombastic celebration of the NHS and how lucky we are to have that service and particularly what they're doing for us right now at this moment in time. So this is not about writing the perfect poem. This is about celebration. So I set you the challenge. Can you write an amazing poem? Better than mine, it shouldn't be too hard, celebrating the NHS. Good luck. See you all soon. One hand can't clap. Where I'm from, we have a saying. One hand can't clap. It means it takes two to tango. I'm from St. Vincent. I'm from Bulgaria. I'm from Czech Republic. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Malaysia. I'm from Pakistan. I'm from Senegal. I'm from Poland. I'm from Ghana. I'm from Ukraine. I'm from Afghanistan. I'm from... But sometimes, when their faith is rocked to the ground, they clap with one hand and still make a sound. At night, they become alchemists, wizards without wands, transforming into superheroes who still eat cornflakes in the morning. Donning their blue capes and green cat suits, we watch them take to the air. Like circles of light cutting into the darkness, they taste but never swallow the fear. Their job, their calling, their destiny all collide. The jigsaw has been dropped on the floor. COVID-19 is no respect to or race or religion, no bias to the wealthy or poor. But... Sometimes, when their faith is rocked to the core, to the very ground, they clap with one hand and still make a sound. Some listen to chess. Some listen to breath rise and fall. Some listen to doors opening. Some listen for the emergency call. Some listen to conversations designed for loved ones' ears. Some listen to laughter to dry up all those tears. Some listen to the power and warmth swaddled in the words, are you okay? Some listen to that inner voice whispering, just make it through today. But sometimes when their faith is rocked to the ground, they clap with one hand and still make a sound. A ketchup bottle is blown. A pot is struck, a voice is raised, a colander is plucked. Night after night, this NSH orchestra takes to the nation's street. The music is etched on their hearts, no need for B-flats and quavers, no need for notes on this page. We can sit no longer as this symphony plays. Feet start twitching, hands start clicking, heads start rocking, blood starts beating. And we are helium balloons on our feet, moving towards the door of no return. 
we are not alone. Our hands become basses, baritones, alto, soprano, with no conductor, the nation synchronizes and then crescendos. From a distance, we clap with both hands at 8 p.m. by the front door. It's a standing ovation as we plead for an encore. Where I'm from, they have a saying. One hand can't clap. It means it takes two to tango. <laughs>